Hello, everybody. Zalerla and Axluvia here. Bringing again? You... Yep, again, of course. Yes. Bringing you episode two of The Last Door, the first one, episode two. And you know, this is going to get a little confusing to try Just to. Just say The Last it. Door, Collector's Edition. Yeah, Collector's Edition, we're going to be doing. Or season one. Cl episode two. Yeah. Last Door, season one, episode two. Okay. Yep. We we already yeah we get, yeah it's it's just okay. You can just watch the previous episode if you want to see that. Yep. It's still showing the right edge. Yeah, it is. Oh well, oh well. Oh, now we're an old person. It's hard mm -hmm. to tell. It's super low res. Bunch of crosses. That's a mega cross background. Okay, this person's also going to probably commit suicide. Seems to be a trend with these. Or... Okay. This is just find find the next step. Yeah, for, for the beginning it is. Why don't they just have this as a cutscene? Because they're going to make you do it. Okay. Anyways, so, yeah, it wasn't suicide, it's just flagellation because he's creepy and weird. That's a Catholic I think you can click thing. this and skip it. Well. You click, are. Click the mouse. I am! Click. Oh, I had to right click. Now there's a creepy dude breathing in my ear. Yeah, I've got to say, it's really, really jarring having digital audio with ultra low res pixels together. Mm, yeah. Anthony again. Guessing that this is the character from the first episode having a nightmare about Anthony killing himself. Possibly. Going through the spoopy woods. Okay. Yeah, the flashing is kind of annoying. It's like, I know why they're doing it. I have for quite photosensitive stuff. eyes, so yeah, it's, it's, it's annoying not, to yeah. people like me. It's a, yeah. yeah. It's like, I know why they're doing it as a visual representation, but it's still like, this isn't... You could do something better for... Uh... He wasn't dreaming, he was hypnotized through therapy. Because hypnotism therapy was a really big deal back then. It was a crow eye. But, okay. Okay. Oh, so he's having nightmares and trying to get therapy and stuff, and it's like, yeah, and he's like, you let your wife die horribly, what the fuck? Why did you go crazy? What's going on?
Okay. Hey, it kind of is doing cutscenes without me having to click things. Yeah. Uh, it's so blurry. Mm hmm. Well, that's kind of sad. Mm-hmm. Who knows how long that's been here. Yeah. Okay, looks like I should be able to walk in, but it's not letting me. That's the entrance. You're, you're going the wrong way. Oh. <laughs> Good job. How was I supposed to know that? Because that's where you came from. Oh. You're just turning around. Yeah. Okay. In any case, I do like this one more than the first one. This actually has a lot more spookiness and a decent amount of plot and just more tone setting and it's longer. It's just better, I think. Oh, wait. It then transitions, and you can move over here, and there's a back area again. With another locked door. Oh, look, it's a locked door. From the inside, but as yes, you Yes, exactly tell, like the other one. Yeah. This looks like a grave situation. Uh -huh. I still don't think that'd be legal to bury the corpses here. I have no idea. I think this is supposed to be in England, isn't it? Yeah, but you still need to I bury them. The I mean, on like. unsanctified ground. It's like a nerd somewhere by nuns, but still not sanctified ground of a church. So I guess this is, this is technically a potter's field, but it still would be like bad. That is a fair amount of corpses. Well, at least I didn't fall off the cliff and die, like, in procession to Calvary. No. Or King's Quest. Oh, no! Graham! Ah! <laughs> no, maybe you should click there. Oh, no! Graham! Ah! Over and over. Shut up. That's my memory of King's Quest, what was it? Five? five Six? Yeah. Five. That yeah, was five. Yeah. There's two things you looked at. Yeah. Oh. You can actually pick the other thing up. The answer is no. There's another thing to pick up? Yes, you looked at it. Okay. And it changed to a hand. All right. Didn't notice. No, you didn't notice. Sorry, it's very hard to tell what I'm looking at. Yeah. I'll... Like when I'm when I'm walking around and I don't have my glasses on, it's almost this blurry. 
And I'm damn near blind without my glasses on. Yeah, it 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 really could have used a different art style. Well, you're going to make everything difficult, well, aren't you? Well, you don't have to talk to her. You're trying to get into places where they took over. So it's just like, who are you, random stranger? Why the fuck are you wandering randomly? That's a good question, you weirdo. Okay. There, and now you can wander around because she got her permission. Versus being some random tit. Well, I'd rather be a random tit. No. Oh, lets me go upstairs to the private residences. Is, is. Well, yeah, because she's like, oh, okay, I know who you are. You can go talk to the nuns and stuff now. We'll have none of that. Haha. Uh -huh. All right, I'll click on the person. Well, that's a great start. Mm -hmm. Second nun I talked to already has a crisis of faith. Yep. Why is everything so dingy? That that tapestry is a little too big. Yeah, I'm trying to hide something behind it. Yeah, well, it wasn't letting me do, do anything else with it. That looked like a great idea. Okay. I do not have the object I need yet. Okay. I use these on this. Cut the tap. You're gonna cut the tapestry. Well, at least it said something different for that. Hey, you can try combining items.
Okay. No, well, still, it's good to know that you can combine items and they'll say no. Oh, I totally want to be here. I love being places people are coughing. Mm. I'm just being sickly and dying. Yeah, he seems to have for a second in this place. I'm like, oh, that's a great start. A A packet of letters. Was it? No. Can you drink taking the stuff now? Well, really? And look at the... Yeah. Because she's a jerk? Maybe you should show him that the letters actually never got sent. And then she leaves her back behind. Okay. So yeah, when you mentioned, oh, that letter's sad, I'm like, oh, it, it's, it's technically worse. So yeah, he tried writing to her, the letters got blocked, and she's basically like, I have no idea how to write to you, I hope this gets to you. I'm going to wait for you no matter what. And he still doesn't know that because of the fact that she took the postcard. But, and my character won't tell her, tell him what she said. Yeah. Because of course not. No. Okay. That was actually a thing that came out in the... In the that year, I think, and it's a very popular horror um, pulp magazine series. This person looks rather cross.
Okay. Something's gloomy about this place. No idea why. Yeah, I can gloomy and this, Okay, this makes no sense. This shows this much wall to here. Mm -hmm. And you go in. Yeah, and there's a door. And there's a thing. door yeah. here. Yeah. Into an entirely new room. Mm-hmm. Well, now there is no longer a music box. Or textbooks. This is 1876. This no, is... remember, this was the boarding school that got abandoned and then taken over by the nuns. So this is probably back when the boarding school was still a boarding school. And they just left all the papers in here. Well, they abandoned it. And the gear, grave digger guy mentioned they abandoned it seemingly overnight and they nobody knew why. And then they turned it into the... Hospital, yeah. Except that sounds like a great idea. As if they've never been in here. Mm-hmm. So creepy stuff. Mm-hmm. All we really came in here for is the music box. Oh. Okay. So many times you decided to use items on items and then don't bother using all of your inventory. <sighs> because I don't see anything that makes sense to use. But okay, I'll go through and use everything on everything new. No, I mean, you're using shit on the statue and then you just decided to stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it doesn't make sense to use anything else on the statue. You don't want to break the statue. Okay. okay, that's wrong piece then. Yeah, good, I could have. Good job. Yeah, I always forget that that part. Okay, anyways. Uh, 
Oh, it doesn't even say anything. Okay. Is there anything back here? Oh. oh. Right. Just a couple items. <laughs> well, yes. You know what to do. You've played this. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I feel like I've been everywhere and don't know what to do. It's just like, yay, I'm gonna do wander and use the items on the things. Oh, well, you have been everywhere. There was still a thing that, you know, could have possibly done something I'm with. I'm sure there was. Otherwise, this game would be soft locked at this point. Yeah. Or hard locked, whatever we want to think of it. Does this say anything? Yeah, it does say something. Well, I mean, I meant Is to anything say relevant? interesting, no. Okay, that's the... I think this is just somebody who doesn't... Oh, right, there's the thing here. That you can't take. Yet. We'll need the morphine so go back. later. Go back where? Where you just were. You're gonna tell me what to do next. You okay? You can wander if you want. <sighs> Fine, I'll go back. Here, have a coin. No. When you tried winding the music box with the stick, what did it say? It said I needed something thinner. See? Yeah. Okay. You have something thinner in your inventory. If, if you say so. Yes. Okay. Please tell me because I can't tell. The coin. The coin wouldn't be able to wind a freaking music box. Oh my god. Yeah, it would. No, it wouldn't. Yeah, it would. nor the music box despawned. Nope. Well, maybe we should look at the window. Oh, she's not the way. Okay. Maybe use your hand on the dry leaves first. It versus using a tool to do it. Yeah. How foolish of me. The hole has a very... Now I can use a tool on it. What the hell? Okay. You remember you saw a thing that was below some grating you couldn't yes, get to. Yes, I realize that. But this is this is just like so out of place for that, and also the liquid is pouring to my character's uh, right which is the direction that room is so the water wouldn't whatever 
Try, I'm trying to apply logic to this. <laughs> oh no, the room goes that way, so it's actually a bump in the building. This place just doesn't just just defies logic in the way it's shaped. So there's some way to drain water out of here. Mm-hmm. Or at least get that thing. So you can catch it now if you get it through the pipe now. So how would you get through the pipe? By draining the water. Okay, how would you... Yes. So it wouldn't let you use the tap and flush it down the system without being able to catch it. So again, because you missed again, that tag... Again, these stupid pixels... Make it look like that's a pool of water there. No, so this pouring is like, water into it would do absolutely nothing. No, other than slightly stir. The no, this content. is this is a shower and there's grating below it. So you take a shower and that's basically a giant shower drain. I cannot tell that at all. I know. Looking at any of this, I cannot tell that. Yeah, it, you just say it's a puddle of water. Yeah, well, it said there was it was below the grating beforehand, but yeah, you you need to assume that it's uh, yeah okay. It's a switchblade. Hey, that's the thing you need for the statue, not the mirror. Okay. You know, you don't need to tell me everything. No, I'm. I was saying it out loud because I was like, "You use the mirror the that, you and like because I always forget." No, it's the teardrop. I was basically saying for myself because I had forgotten again, even though I've played finishes multiple times. Yeah, good job, you. Yeah, pretty much. I always, I always forget that. In a hollow of the virgin's cheek. I guess to make it look like she's crying? Mm-hmm. Yep, there we go. Uh-oh. Okay. That's a good question. What have you done? Why would you get upset at Virgin Mary crying unless, like, something you did wrong kind of thing? Hey, at least I can talk to the guy because the nun ran off. Ran off. I do not know how can I show my gratitude. How I can show you? Yeah. That, that's not what it said. No. Oh, hey, you know where to get the morphine. Yay, it's mighty morphine time. <laughs> Now it lets me take it. I've been trying to take that most of the game. Oh, yeah, you didn't have a reason to take it. It's like, why do you need morphine? To add to the pile of corpses. That's horrible. That's what we're doing. Yeah, but only because he asked us to. Oh, wait. Oh, no, he's missing. Where the, yeah, where the actually the hell did he go? Okay. You, you had something named Baldwin. 
You talked to somebody named Baldwin. I mean, the only guy I've talked to is the Grave Digger, really, other than the... can do it. What? Okay. Well, maybe you should figure out where Baldwin went. Or the Grave Digger, I should say. Into the pocket dimension. That no, we need to go into a fucking here. the pocket dimension. Hey, Baldwin, are you dead over here? Oh. That's a good question. She returned to the sea whence she came. <laughs> what? This is supposed to be creepy, damn it. You are making the wrong I person I, play I, I, a game that's supposed that's, to be creepy. This is a, actually makes it more amusing, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, I mean, there are some bits of here that I honestly think are creepy, but yeah, this is. Some of this is like. Mm, Can you try talking to him now that you have decided to try and distract him? You know, here in Washington State, there's a place called Aberdeen. Yeah. Probably named after the same thing. Okay. That was very silly. Yep. Gee, he got locked in coffin. What do you think happened to you? We Anyways. Mm -hmm. Hey, nun at the desk is gone. How was that? How was I supposed to know that was the nun at the desk and not uh, the nun that was here? Because the nun up there is the one praying in her room, or the room with the morphine now. Oh, okay. It's uh, text color. The mother had red text. Okay. Sure. So now you get into the other door. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, and look at her notes. In his stomach. I don't know what Kalexia is. Okay. What's well, a good thing we just got the key? You know, what was the point of having a key there if 
you couldn't get into there while she was there. Mm. You know, you look exactly like me. Like different hair. Your hair is just slightly yeah, yeah, browner. No, his hair is slightly er, grayer. Yeah, grayer. Don't look into his eyes because the deepest darkness dwells in his eyes. Okay. Uh, you're not my dad. I'm guessing this is a memory thing. Yep. It said memory begins or something like that. Yeah, boring subject and they're weird. <sighs> I'd love to say that skulls don't do that anymore, but some of them still do corporal punishment. Blow? Blow. Because something's hitting the windows. So does it mean there's hookers too? No. No? Just blow. Yep, heavy blow. And there's blood streaks. Okay. A set. That's like more than a set. You fool, why did you do that? Okay. Can't play with the objects in the room right now, huh? Remember, we're talking about a mentally ill person. Okay. That's flagellating himself and stuff. Okay, I, I don't know what the answers are to this stuff. to do this again until I get those answers right? No. I think he's just gonna be praying and... So then why does any of that matter? Different plot stuff. Really? I have to wait till he moves? He's twitching. There's that paper there, too. That's great. He needs to move. I know. I think you're close enough. Hey, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Am I supposed to memorize that? No, it's just supposed to be showing how creepy it is and how it keeps saying he's willing to burn himself. Anyways, you got everything. All right, I was just looking to see if I yeah. missed anything. It's just... <coughs> you sound healthy, old man. Okay. And if I remember correctly, it's supposed to be the sword, the blame, and the gate guard for him saying yes and then doing more dialogue. I have no idea what this is for. <laughs> I guess I do like some of the sound effects. It's like, it sounds like ripping. They, yes, you yes, go to memories. They, they are sounds. And the small door of the classroom. Return from memories. You know the silly thing about having to cut the tapestries? You could have just moved it. Yeah. <coughs> so there's Look at your bed again. Okay. Oh, it changed. Yeah, it did change. I don't know why you think this is a good idea. Besides, you're going Leaving. insane as well, which I think is the implication, is you're going crazy as slowly through this. Why would you be going crazy? Okay. Well, he, he says he's fearing, he, when he started, he, he was fearing he was losing his mind and whatnot, and he was having weird dreams about this eyeball that's just evil and something strange happened here, so it could be affecting him. Like I said, it's supposed to be Lovecraftian, so it's like he... You know, I get creepy, weird, recurring things like that, too. That doesn't mean I'm going insane. No. Although maybe some people might think I'm insane. Hmm. Quite possibly. still have to be, die from being eaten. If you should stick to the issue at hand, it's like, pff, gay. Well, if the rabbit's smart, they left. They're gone. Yep. I didn't breathe. Really? It, it just turns around. Okay. Well, 
Well, that's worthless. <laughs> Which one of you is Mr. Rabbit? Can I read this again? Do you go away? No? No? Okay. Well, don't mind me. I think it's supposed to be the futility of the, uh... What? I think that was supposed to be symbolizing the, the futility of trying to put off the inevitable or something. And then she of, goes, she's a zombie now. Just reminds me of dead girls nope. love me. Yeah, dead girls like me, yeah. Like me, yeah. It's impossible to love, so I'm just going to bury you alive. Because she got up at the end. That was really important. Yeah, how long have you been sleeping? It's like, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, you have to go to that room that you found. So, like, that path that the notes led you to. Okay. Just gonna leave that jarring thing there. Yeah. Well, nuns have the nuns have bigger issues to worry about. What does make you turn around? Mm-hmm. Well, I never did get to kill you earlier. Here you go. I think the one behind the... No, okay, that's not a thing. Yeah, you don't treat corpses like this. This is still not okay. Hey, bright flushes. The veil. That sounds like a great idea. I know, right? What is that we saw? The eye of the bird! Must make me interested in what my mind cannot fathom. You're so much more into this than I am. I know. Seen by the eye of the bird, remembers us, looks for us.
He wouldn't burn. How, how did none of the wood catch on fire? Yeah, that's a good question, too. Okay. I actually like the ending of this. Yes, I always like getting hammered. No, I mean... And stuffed into you, a coffin. You, you, you're hearing the sounds, right? Yes. And having the nail cop The coffin nailed. Ooh. Yeah, without the subtitles, it was like... This was a really creepy ending for me. Like, uh, wait, what? Just... Am, am I getting buried alive? It, it, what's... What's going on? Oh shit. Uh. Ah yes, there's a secret door you find out about. Hell if I know. So what'd you think of episode two? I think it was better than episode one. Sure. Like I said, it's actually starting to get into the Lovecraftian vibe of stuff, where it's like, you know, the veil and the eye of the burden and stuff like that. Like the whole things but, man not was not meant to know. You and I have a very, very different opinion on this. Okay, what's your opinion then? I just don't care for it. The game or Lovecraftian stuff? I like Lovecraftian stuff sometimes. <laughs> And a lot of it I really don't care for. Also, I don't really get spooked. No. So it's just like, oh, yep, that's that's a thing that's happening in this story. Okay. Mm. Yep. Anyways, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Sorry I'm a spoil sport. <laughs> it's not... fine. Poor, poor. Too boring. <laughs>